Cross-stepping. It's such an important part of longboarding because it allows us to get to the nose and nose ride. Right? Yeah. Well, what I've actually found is that this creates a massive barrier for our cross-stepping progression. And if you want to know why this is and how to progress to the advanced levels of cross-stepping, you've come to the right place. To support this channel, please consider subscribing. This is Tip Time. Now let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another segment of Tip Time where we take a deep dive into your question. So today's question is from William, commenting that they're trying so hard to maneuver across the board, but end up shuffling instead of cross-stepping. This is super common, especially in the context of wanting to rush to the nose before having learned the fundamentals of cross-stepping. So the problem here is bypassing the phase where we develop our fundamentals of cross-stepping by going towards the shiny object of nose riding, which ironically delays our progression to this more advanced level of cross-stepping. What we need to do instead is hone in our skills to master the fundamentals of cross-stepping, which takes a readjustment of our conceptions for the purpose of cross-stepping altogether. What we need to know is, cross-stepping isn't simply a path to nose riding, but the key which unlocks the different areas of the board. Once we understand this, it's easier to understand that cross-stepping to the middle of the board and backwards to the tail, as well as ensuring each step itself is purposefully placed and smooth, is extremely important. This is what is often missed on cross-stepping, when the aim is to hang five and we potentially ignore the quality of the cross-stepping. The common problems with this is if we don't focus on quality here, we skip through the cross-step, which means trying to bypass that cross-step position as quickly as possible. This means the cross-step will be far less smooth as well as less precise. This then feeds into landing in the incorrect position after the first two cross-steps, where the next option people opt for is a small shuffle to get five toes over, which, if this isn't corrected, can become a long-standing part of one surfing. So, let's reframe this and start the cross-step from scratch. This will ensure that all bases are covered and that we master the fundamentals, so that when it's time to get to the nose, we've got all the skills that we need. The first step is don't practice cross-stepping to the nose, but do this instead. Practice cross-stepping to the middle of the board and practice cross-stepping to the tail. This is great to start with because these are far more important areas of the board to be competent moving between, as these areas allow us to alter our position on the wave and gain speed and balance. Without this skill, we're stuck in a fixed spot on the board unless we choose to shuffle, so this is crucial to get before we think about nose riding. Secondly, be comfortable with all aspects of the cross step. We often feel so steady in our fundamental surfing position, which is our normal stance. But as soon as we bring our back foot through for the cross step, things get pretty off balance when we're learning this. Instead of running away from this problem, let's face it head first and learn to ride across the wave in this cross step position. When you become balanced and comfortable in this position, your cross step won't have a weak link. Now, let's get you to the nose. Once you have the previous couple of steps down pat, Try to integrate these into getting to the nose. Naturally, you may revert back to some old habits, these being rushing, skipping, even shuffling. So take your time, give yourself permission to fall and stay consistent with your training. 